What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do a word from the ancestor reading for the sign of Taurus, okay? Taurus, what's good with you, okay? You guys are first on the zodiac lineup. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Remember, you guys, these are general messages, not personal, so take what resonates and pass the rest to the next, okay? So, that being said, you guys know how these go. We're going to start with Urban Tarot. I haven't did face value in a while, you know. So, thought I said hey and be like, hey y'all, hey, okay? So, um, let's go ahead and get started, okay? We're going to pull three cards, okay? One from the top, one from the bottom, and one energetically from the middle, okay? That's two. And then one energetically from the middle. Okay. We'll put these off to the side. And then we will clarify with every day to row. Okay. So, to start off, we have the Knight of Swords, the Prince of Wands, and the Six of Swords, okay? So, I'm gonna hold this one up for you guys to start off, okay? Prince, well, I'm sorry, Knight, Knight of Swords, okay? Knight of Swords, which is called the Game Master, okay? In the Urban Tarot deck. Right now, Taurus, you are dare I say it, the, the saying goes, playing chess, not checkers, okay? And so, you have been very calculated in your movement, okay, um, within the dynamic of your life, okay? Um, primarily, like I said, it could be dealing with career at this time, okay? But you're being very calculated, um, in your movements, okay? Um, not yet striking for that checkmate, okay? But you are there, okay? Is what I'm feeling. We have the Prince of Wands, and this person is called the journalist, okay? With the Prince of Wands. Very factual, okay? One thing about Taurus is we are very detail-oriented, and we only really present the facts when it comes down to it, okay? Um, and so usually if you come to a tourist, you better come correct, okay? Because we will shut that shit down, okay? <laughs> we, we only focus on the facts of the matter, okay? It's not about anything else. It's a, you stay on subject matter, okay? And we're very, you're very Taurus um, collective, very strong and determined and passionate um, especially when you're fighting for for the right side, okay? When you're fighting for what's right, and so you've been you've been very upfront, but very calculated. Um, and one thing is for certain: there's been a lot of chances given. You've let a lot of things slide, and so now is the time for you to really you know, step up, like I said, be very calculated, stick with the facts, especially if it's dependent upon a decision that you have to make, okay? So then we have the Six of Swords, Science, okay? Regular Writer's Weight usually talks about Six of Swords moving on or towards something, okay? In this sense, you have a snake here and you have six swords and there's a heart with, you know, you can vaguely see the person, the body, you know, wrapped around in, in the background there, okay? And so I feel like you are protecting something, okay? Um, protecting, like protecting your values protecting your in a health sense okay you could be um working on your health 
and making sure you're not too stressed, okay? Um, but the first thing I see or feel when I look at this snake in the card is like a viper, okay? <laughs> like you ready to strike, okay? You have all the defenses that you need. You have the swords, which is your words. You have the snake, which is your emotions, okay? And so you are ready to strike at any given point in time if someone tries to break that barrier, okay? They will be stopped, all right? So that that's what I'm feeling for you right now, okay, Taurus? So with that being said, we're going to get into the everyday tarot and do the same thing. One from the top, one from the bottom, and one energetically from the middle, okay? So let's see what's going on with these clarifiers. So Knight of Swords is being clarified by the Two of Wands, okay? Knight of Swords clarified by the Two of Wands. Like I said, I feel like you wanna start a new beginning okay two of wands is always talking about you know you see the two stakes posted in that world or globe in or sphere whatever you want to call it in in their hand right here okay it's time to embark on a new journey and i think with the knight of swords you know that taurus and you're now trying to make plans on how to get started on that right now you had to acknowledge the fact that it's time to start over and now what is it that you want to pursue okay playing the long game that's what we do okay we play the long game you never show your hand okay um because you do things like i said be very calculated in what you do make plans be prepared have a plan b c d E and know what the probabilities are really outline everything we are very detail oriented that is a very big plus for us it, it bodes well for you so utilize those those characteristics and skill sets that you have Taurus okay it will benefit you in the long run okay so Prince of Wands is here with the Ace of Cups, okay? Prince of Wands with the Ace of Cups. I feel like with this, of course, we can automatically say that an offer um, is on the table here, but when I, I'm not going to say that it's not about an offer. It's about you, Taurus, like I said, being very factual, but while being factual, you are being your cup overflows at the same time, okay? Um, make sure you're careful that when you're being factual that you're not too emotional when you're dropping the facts, okay? Um, you have it under control, just don't let it overflow, okay? Because as with this Ace of Cups, it talks about an overflow of emotion, okay? And so sometimes we have a tendency of moving out of emotion, okay? Don't try your best not to do that. Stay factual without putting your emotions into it, okay? Um, and then let others speak to you about their emotions. You can lay out the facts while they can tell you justification for things, okay? Or why they did or said what they said. Or did what they did okay but it is for some of you it could be after stating these facts okay and being very determined very passionate okay I think you end up finding something that you are truly um, passionate about and maybe there is an offer given to you um, in reference to something that interests you okay so be passionate, but be factual and try not to add any other emotions into it that may deter you from staying the course, okay? 
So lastly, we have Six of Cups clarifying the Six of Swords, okay? So here, like I said, you may be on the defensive, Taurus, um, in reference to something that's going on with you, okay? Um, and I think it's just primarily because you want reciprocity with the Six of Cups being here, okay? Um, you have every right to want um, you give, but yet you don't receive, okay? And so I think that's why you're on the defensive um, and it's something that you've been wanting, but it's something that's just not, hasn't been coming towards you. And it could be because you're on the defensive and you're tired of sharing, okay? You're tired of giving, you know, um, and you're looking for your turn, okay? And of course, it is possible to receive it, but you have to be in the place to receive, okay? So after you make the plans, depending on your situation, okay? Like I said, if it's in reference to a job, you have to start planning, okay? In order to receive, you have to make some actions towards something, okay? So of course you have to put in the application. Um, of course you have to do a resume. Of course you have to do an interview, okay? You have to market yourself in order for you to receive what it is that you're looking for. So try not to be so much on the defensive if you're wanting to receive something, okay? Always giving, stop giving, give to yourself before you give to others, okay? And it will burn you out when you do that. Trust and believe you me, I know, okay? So I'm not telling you anything that I don't know because I've done it before. And so if you can avoid doing that as much as possible and let people see how much um, you meant to them in a way no matter what it is whether it be a relationship whether it be work let yourself if you're blocking yourself or cutting off certain energy let it return to you what you gave okay and don't give anything in vain okay if you're giving it in vain because you're looking for something in return then no you're not going to get anything okay because that's ill intentions but if you give because you want to give, you're eventually going to receive, okay? So always give with pure hearted intentions, okay? So that being said, Taurus, we're gonna go into the Ancestor Oracle. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle for you guys at least three times and doing something a little bit different just for time constraints. We're going to Go directly to the bottom of the deck to see what it is your ancestors want you to work on okay and we'll do the same thing with the angel of support messages so the last shuffle and we're gonna go ahead and cut okay so let's see what's up Notice the signs, okay? Notice the signs. Investigate symbols, nature spirits, okay? Notice the signs. I feel like when this card suggests that before we go into the book, we are very observant, okay? Being observant is a plus don't observe just to know things retain things okay put it in that memory rolodex okay so notice the little signs there could have been multiple things that were presented to you to give you the sign of what to do okay so like i said in reference to career if you were dealing with anyone that kind of went against your values or morals or work ethic things of that nature get out of there okay that <laughs> that's a sign okay um if someone was being suggested to you at your job and saying hey 
I saw this position that would be really good for you, okay? They thought of you for a reason. They know your skill set. That was a sign. It wasn't, you know, them trying to ploy or do anything of that nature. It was just primarily, it was a sign, okay? I'll give you a prime example. I used to work at a department store years ago, okay? And I felt like something was up there and that it was, of course, time for me to go. I've had a really pretty lucrative stint with retail, period, in my past. But whenever I felt like, I always paid attention to my intuition, my gut instinct. And being at that department store, I was like, ah, it's, it's about time for me to go. I don't know why, but there's some shady stuff going on. And I told them, if you see me leave, that's a sign for you to possibly, you know, get your stuff together and look for something else. Because something shady is going on. Management isn't telling us. So... They were like, oh, yeah, yeah. They brushed it off. I found a job, um, office job, out of, still in the state, but um, found another job. And about a few months later, the store actually ended up closing. And I was like, what? I was surprised. And I ran into one of my previous co-workers and they told me what happened. There was a lot of loss prevention go, you know, going on. There was some stealing. Somebody was actually stealing the inventory from the electronics department. And I was like, are you serious? They got caught. And not only did that barrel roll into you know, an employee stealing from the store, but the fact that we had too many items and products that were being stolen and we had no account for them so again I followed the signs okay I investigated I paid attention you know and I listened to my in my intuition and I passed it along to other people some people took my heed some people didn't you know it maybe took them longer to get themselves back on their feet you know after that job was gone and I was like, I tried to tell you, <laughs> and, you know, not to, you know, put it in their face. But I was like, you know, that's messed up. I can't believe that. So that is just an example of just paying attention to the signs. You know when it's time to do something, not just innately, but pay attention to the signs. It will lead you right to it, okay, to your final decision, okay? So with that being said, let's go in to the book here, okay? Page 70. Taurus, I need you to focus on your inner strength, okay? Um, as we're talking about 70 equaling out to seven, okay? So investigate symbols, nature spirits. Notice the signs, the ancestors speak, it is no coincidence that you have drawn this card today. Your spirit guides and past loved ones are trying to help you and want to get your attention. They will send a sign or message three times. So as you pay attention, make a note of any symbols or coincidences. You might find three coins, meet three people with the same name, or be visited by three crows. As you get to know what each sign means, your spirit guides will continue to use them to get messages through to you. Okay? So, pay attention to all of that, Taurus, okay? As you know, I love threes, okay? Um, I just, something innately draws me to three doing something three times. Like, I shuffle my deck three times. I cut the deck three times. I even have a thing where when I used to drink on water fountains, I would flip the water three times because I felt like that was like flushing the mouthpiece, but I never put my mouth on it. But still, nonetheless, it just felt like a lucky number to me. So I've always done that. I've always done that. So pay attention to those signs. Your ancestors or loved ones could be popping up in a dream, showing you the same thing three times. That's a sign, okay? So pay attention to it, write it down. Anything symbolic that you feel is weird that you may see in a dream or feel, look it up, 
okay look up the spiritual meaning of it so that way you can know you know what's up you know so when your ancestors are showing you something okay always take heed there's a reason for it okay so that being said let's go into the angel messages for some messages of support to the bottom of the deck once we cut okay so your angel message for today Taurus is opal opal okay Opal says, your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels, okay? So, Taurus, if there are some of you that have children, of course, we do have the Six of Cups that showed up here, and it looks like two children um, handing or talking to each other, okay? Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels, okay? So that could be for a separate set of Tauruses, okay? Um, so if you have children, they are well. If you've lost any children, they are well and being taken care of, okay? I'm going to also just go underneath Opal where the next card states, you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision, okay? That is Merlina. That is Merlina, okay? So I'll read that one more time for you and go figure. Patience is underneath that, but we're not going to go there tonight, okay? <laughs> so you are confused and indecisive. Because you do not have enough information, do research or seek expert advice before making a decision, okay? So, again, do your research, Taurus. Don't jump to any conclusions or be too haste in your decisions because you're possibly moving out of emotion, okay? So, you know, be mindful of what you do, okay? Um, don't be too much in your feelings about it. You can be passionate and determined, but do not be too much in your emotions about something, okay? So, with that being said, Taurus, that's all that I have for you guys. Um, we have one more reading this week, and then that's it. So, until then, peace.